disgraced movie mogul, Harvey Weinstein appears to have ditched his previous disguise for a black fedora and sunglasses, when he was spotted at an Arizona eatery Saturday evening. Pictures obtained by TMZ show the suspected sexual predator at a restaurant in Carefree, Arizona having dinner with two blonde women. The women reportedly met the former film executive to discuss an anger management program. The three were also waiting to meet with Weinstein's rehab sponsor, TMZ added. A witness reportedly told TMZ that while Weinstein was waiting for his company to arrive at the unnamed restaurant, he had pre-ordered them two glasses of white wine. Weinstein, who is currently in Arizona seeking treatment at rehabilitation facility, was said to have stuck to water. The witness added that following the meal, Weinstein signed the tab under the alias Nick Starr. Weinstein's Saturday evening look was a departure from his first outing earlier this month when he was spotted grabbing some food with a male friend. On November 3, Weinstein was pictured wearing a blonde wig over his bald head and orange makeup covering his face before heading out in public. His guest also appeared to be wearing a wig, with the man keeping a hand on the side of his head during their meal. Weinstein has been in Arizona for more than a month where he reportedly attended a week of inpatient rehab at an undisclosed location and is now receiving outpatient treatment. Meanwhile, Weinstein and his estranged wife, Georgina Chapman, have attained the services of Manhattan's top divorce attorneys to handle their upcoming separation. Stephen M. Silp, Ivana Trump's former divorce lawyer, has been hired by Weinstein, while Chapman has hired Bernard Clare and Robert Cohen, according to Page Six. Clare and Cohen have represented high-profile clients in the past including Christy Brinkley and Duma Thurman. Chapman announced that she would be seeking a divorce from Weinstein last month just days after The New York Times published a report alleging the former movie producer engaged in a three-decade span of sexual misconduct. My heart breaks for all the women who have suffered tremendous pain because of these unforgivable actions, Chapman said in a statement announcing the divorce. The two have been married for 10 years and have two children. Nearly 100